Alrighty guys, today we're going to be learning how to make this image in Photoshop and editing it in Lightroom. First we're going to be using these three images. Right here we're going to use this one to get our hands in the air. And we're going to use this one to get our legs in the air. And we're going to put them all onto this image right here to create one composite image. All right. So first we'll take the legs, go halfway to the body. And what we're going to do is just copy that and paste it into the original image. And we're going to do the same thing with the arms. You copy that and paste it in. And so now you can kind of see how the body is already coming together. But what we're going to do now is we're going to mask each image. And what that does is see these little white squares over here. Now what we can do is paint with black, which is, you know, the opposite of white. And notice what you can do you can actually erase the image and what's really nice about masking is um, if you were to you know erase my face like that what you can do is just switch this to white and you can literally paint the face right back so that's why masking is really awesome so um, I'm just gonna do a really quick job of this just so you can see uh, what I'm trying to get at so you can get the concept a little bit. All right, so now you can kind of see what's happening here. So now, you know, you have this uh, nice little masked image. It's looking all right. Good job. Sweet. Um, one thing that's going to help make it more realistic is if we get a shadow in here. And we're going to do that by going back to our original images. And we're just, instead of selecting the legs, we're going to select the shadow. So we're going to copy that and paste it into our original image. Alright, and then we're going to do the same thing with the hands. And with the hands, we're actually going to use the, um, the lasso tool here. This way we can get around these fine edges just like this. Alright, we're going to copy that in and paste it in as well. And we're going to end up actually masking these as well. Move that in. Alright, so... Let's just mask both of those shadow layers. All right. And then again, you just paint over it with black and you can get rid of all those, everything you don't want. Just keep the shadows. And so, I mean, that's pretty much your concept. I played around with the shadows a little more. I refined our edges, obviously, so you weren't having these lines of the the walkway coming through in my hands and my fingers and that's all I did and that's how I got to this image right here and then what I did is I just went to image auto contrast auto tone and that helped bring out the image a little bit better all right after we got the image out of Photoshop I imported it into Lightroom and so um, we're just gonna do some final touch up touch ups for this image to make it a little make it look a little bit better um, the first thing I did is I just added uh, one of my presets here. And so I just like uh, the way that effect looks. And that looks really good. And we could leave it like that. And that would be a fine image. But we're just going to touch it up a little bit more to give it more of a professional look. So the first thing I did with this image is I dropped the exposure. So that looks kind of bad um, at first. But you'll see what I do. And notice I missed some of my masking here. But that will go away. That will clean that up. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the brush tool and we're gonna start small and just come straight down. And this helps give us a guideline and so we want the whole pier lit up. So we're gonna come in and meet up at that center point from the pier. I fill that in and then we're gonna raise the exposure on that even more. And so notice now we have that spotlight coming down. Um, one thing I do wanna do is actually um, vignette the sides a little bit so to do that we're going to go lens corrections and manual and we're just going to vignette all the way and you can change that around how you want we're going to move it right around there 
And so now you can see that's already a really nice image. I really like that. And notice how we have the light um, coming right down on the face and right down on the arm. So the, the light actually matches the image and matches the shadow and looks really nice. Um, so we're actually going to raise the clarity. And what that does is help bring out the wood a little bit. But I don't like how it makes the skin look and the shirt look. So to fix that, I'm just going to go over with a brush tool over my body. And then I'm going to drop the clarity. And so now you can already see the skin tones have kind of lightened up. And we're going to drop the contrast and raise the shadows just slightly. And there you go. And that is your final image. Oh, one more thing. Notice you have these little marks over here um, from the masking. If you go back to the Photoshop, you can fix that up. But if you don't want to, you know, if you mess up like that, and you can always use the spot removal and just come down on that, and it should fix it up pretty nice. There you go. There you go, and that looks pretty good.